Steak, and chocolate drinking. chip cookies, aquariums, puppies. <laughs> That's it, folks. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>
we were using the forums, like private chat as a way to keep in touch, but Instagram DM is so much more straightforward. So I got an Instagram account, didn't post the thing to it and was just using the DM feature. Um, my account was hacked three times because there was no content in it. So they thought it was an abandoned account. So I was like, let me just throw up a couple pictures every now and then just so that it looks like there's somebody on this. Um, and a couple pictures turned into a couple more. I got some more friends, and now it's a whole thing, and I'm really grateful for all of it. How many followers do you have on Instagram now? 8,000 something. Do you have a goal, or are you just doing what you do? I'm just doing what I do. I honestly enjoy interacting with everybody. Like, I always answer my DMs, I answer my comments. Um, I really just enjoy the camaraderie that I have with everybody because Regardless of how long or short you've known a person that's a reefer, like they're always willing to help you out. I find that like so inspiring and so beautiful. So it's funny, you said reefer. Yeah, you have this freshwater aquarium behind me and you said that I can take the saltwater tank. So why do you resonate more with the reefing side than the freshwater side if freshwater is truly where your heart is at? All right, well, maybe it was a little preemptive to say that fresh water is where my heart is at because like this <laughs> is like blood, sweat, and tears. But I just don't talk about my fresh water tank a lot because I feel like it's not like up to par. Like it's hard to make it look pretty because I have destructive fish. Um, what do you mean pretty? Like pretty to whose standards? My standards, like I don't like having chewed up Amazon swords, but that's what I got. What about the wild? Do they have chewed up Amazon swords? They probably have Amazon swords big enough so that if they were chewed up, it wouldn't be a big deal. Like, you know, if I didn't want them, I wouldn't have like gone through the trouble. I, I really do. Like I told Steve, like, we're gonna ride this out until they all die. And you know, at that point, that's when I'll up through the salt water, but I'm not gonna, just gonna rehome them. I love them all. That's the uh, aquarium we're talking about. And um, she is very passionate about it. I think she is conflicted. You can't like both? I didn't say that, but I just think you're conflicted. Do me a favor, folks, down in the comments, based on what you're hearing, tell me what you think she prefers, salt water or fresh water. That'd be a good one. I'd like to hear it. These Akaras have bred babies for me. I've shipped them to like friends all over the country. Like we have, we have history, you can't just like, Respect that. I thought of this on the fly. You're not even giving me time to like form an answers. Well, you're not supposed to. Your husband's probably really hungry. Yeah. No, he's, he's probably drinking. He's fine. That's good. <laughs> if you didn't have aquariums, what would you be doing I'd as be, a hobby? I'd be cooking. I'd be baking. Um, most likely Did you bake baking. those cookies? I didn't bake those cookies. Oh. Costco baked those cookies. I was about to say, whoo, that was a good chocolate chip cookie. I can bake chocolate chip, <laughs> chocolate chip cookies though. Like that's the one thing I can bake really well. This is it, honestly. Like, I'm a very simple person. Well, this is Coral Easton in a nutshell. Baking chocolate chip cookies, staring at her aquarium. Steak, and chocolate drinking. chip cookies, aquariums, puppies. <laughs> that's it, folks. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Peace out, Napoleon. That's it. I hope you enjoyed what you got to see. The idea was to get behind the scenes with these wonderful aquariums that someone else keeps that I just happen to be able to come in and hang out. If you're interested in doing something like this and you're not creeped out by cooking me steaks, although that was her idea, not mine. Totally my idea. Yeah, and definitely not my idea. <laughs> um, yeah, leave a comment, tell me what you think. And um, you know, I think what we have to realize is the hobby is very diverse, whether it's female, whether it's male, whether it's whatever you are, whatever you're into these days, it doesn't matter. There's a commonality of keeping aquariums and most folks are keeping aquariums for the same reasons and it's relaxing, it's fun, it's engaging, it's rewarding, but it's challenging. And so the key is as humans, we need to challenge ourselves, whether it's in our career, whether it's in our hobby, we need a challenge. So when you yes. say things are too hard, suck it up, buttercup, because it's not gonna be hard after you get through it, duh. True facts. Is it those facts? True facts. Dropping knowledge. <laughs> Do you got anything else? That's it, man. Thanks for coming by. Let's cook some
some steaks. Hell yeah. Steak!